Let's talk about acting in a chord and how important it is to follow through on your magic. You can't depend on magic alone to do whatever you need it to do. So like I said, I think I've made a video on this and I've spoken about it in my one of my previous videos on the magical sandwich. And I think I even have a video on acting in a chord. Now, acting in a chord specifically is following through on what the intention of your magic is and what you are targeting, right? So when you are going after a specific thing in spell work, you know, you set your intention, you boil it down to make it specific enough because you want to write a check that the universe can cash, and then you perform an act in ritual which follows the like attracts like principle where you perform an action that mimics the action that you want to bring towards you. That's why when you're trying to bind somebody, you actually do something that involves binding or tying a knot, tying a cord. If you are trying to bring abundance, then you have things with um, correspondences that have to do with abundance, such as like a green candle or maybe specific herbs or specific stones, things that have that vibration. Or like in my ceremonial magic project, which I need to get back into, by the way, because I've had to tweak it a little bit, and uh, man, I've been so busy lately, but what else is new that's called life? Um, that you are creating a small action that is to mimic what you want to have happen in the bigger picture. So you go from microcosm to macrocosm. So basically, the update that I'm trying to do on this um, acting in a chord video is when you are planning what your spell work is and what your intentional phrase is going to be and how you're going to execute it, whether it whether it be a, a sigil, um, working with a specific deity, doing something of the like attract likes pr like attracts like principle, or something like that, it would also be pr very, very, very good if you were to plan how you are going to support the spell work that you have done. So if you're searching, if you are wanting to get a job in a specific area, make a plan that you are going to, you know, look for as many job opportunities as possible. You are going to go over your resume. You are going to write and spend a lot of time on cover letters. If you are looking for, you know, somebody, if you are trying to open yourself up to the aspect of a relationship, well, you know, kind of making that attraction kind of thing happen um, between you and somebody else, or if you are trying to um, just, you're calling out for somebody to enter your life with the intentions of like finding a romantic partner and whatever, then yeah, you set your intention, you do your spell work, great, but you got to make a plan of, okay, I'm going to go out in social events, or I'm going to set up an online dating account, or I'm going to read some books on how to be a um how to be a more positive partner things like that if you are if you do spell t spells and plan spell work to eliminate certain habits whether it be like smoking or something like that or if you want to change your eating habits or you want to do something healthier or any aspect of your life that you want to change you have to make a plan on what you're going to do after the spell work now this does not mean that just your actions alone is what cha is what changes it. I mean, you can just, you know, take some actions and change your life. Great. If you want to if you want to do that, then um one magic might not be for you or two, you might not need magic in that case, in that specific case. But the idea is that magic is it sets up those dominoes from where you are to where you want to be and it kind of gives you an energetic roadmap that will guide you that way, but it's still up to you to walk it. So you got to make a plan on how you are going to walk it. You know, you can talk the talk in ritual, but can you walk the walk to get you there? Because like if you're if you're searching out this, you know, I just keep using these examples and stuff. If you are searching out a job, the magic that you do to attract a job to you is going to change your perspective in how you are looking at things, what you what you notice, your motivations towards getting that goal that you want. But it's it is still up to you to get out of bed in the morning or to take those actions to do it. You know, you might have an easier time writing cover letters. You might notice the specific op opportunities that you wouldn't have noticed if you didn't do that that spell work to change your focus and to focus that energy, the the magic, the energy of magic to bringing you from point A to point B. 
you know, like, you, you know, think about it as working like a regular job or something. If you go to a job just because it's a job, you are much less like, likely to improve or advance than if you go to a job knowing that you're going to give it your all. So after, after performing magic, it's a way of changing your mind and giving you an extra confidence boost in whatever entities that you work with. They're, they're behind you. They're supporting you. And that once you have made that spell work, you know it's going to work out. And you just got to walk the walk. You got you to gotta talk the talk in ritual. You got to do the ritual stuff. And then you got to follow through on it. So as you're making your intention and you're designing your spell work, especially if you have like a book of shadows or something like that, make a plan on what you are going to do to support that spell work. And you can even say, okay, I'm going to do this spell work on this date. I'm going to give it 30 days. And then I'm going to revisit and see where I am. After, after the spell work, for those 30 days, I'm going to do A, B, C, and D. And whatever numbers or letters that, that you want. Because that magic is supporting you in doing those things and getting the job done to get what you want. So acting in accord is not just going about the motions because you did something. It's about taking action on something because you know you have the support behind you. You know that you are going to get it because ma magic is a very powerful thing and it can get that and it can get the job done. But you can't get a job done unless you put in the work. The magical sandwich, right? You got mundane action first. Then you got magic or spell work, or whatever you want to call it, and then followed by mundane action. So whatever you were doing before the spell work, you know, like filling out job applications, going over your cover letters, any, any of those things. That's fine. But after you do that spell work, you're going to have an extra oomph in focus and maybe even inspiration and working with different entities or, or whoever. Or even if you just do that at all the energetic work and things by yourself, you're going to get an extra oomph. So whatever you were working on before that didn't work out, you got to see what worked and what didn't, what was good and what wasn't, and maybe continue some of those things in the mon in the mundane action after the spell work and acting in accord. Or and you got to take a look and see what else can you do, what else can you add. So mundane action first, review it, see what else you could do, come up with a plan for spell work, and then do that even better mundane action afterwards. Magical sandwich. I love that analogy. So on that note, when you do spell work, make sure that you follow through with stuff with acting in accord and know that you can get what you want out of life with magic. Good hunting. Thanks for watching my video. So if you want to check out my playlists, I have, among others, the Simon Necronomicon, the Tree of Life, General Magic, Tulpamancy, a playlist on my books, the elements, stones, the theories that govern magic, and the gods and goddesses of Mesopotamia. If you want to check out my books on Amazon, I have Creating Consciousness, Magical Mechanics, Magical Theater, Handy Sigil Magic, Magical Movement, which is an update and expansion upon Handy Sigil Magic, Magical Mastery, which is a combination masterwork of Magical Theater and Magical Mechanics, and the Guide to the Spheres and Beyond. You can also find me on Facebook at MagicologyYT. You can email me at priestofthenecro at gmail.com, and you can even check out my Instagram, which is Magicology. And good hunting.